everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy, and I'm joined, as always, by the Minecraft versions of my real-life pets, Paige, Molly, Polly, and Milk Toast. Milk Toast is the only one that came out on the balcony for the intro. That's fine. That's fine. One of these days, it will happen. Oh, the world of Dogcraft is loading in. And, uh, it's a, it's a brand new day. Actually, no, the sun's going down. Oh. Well, that's fine. We can get some of our stuff done before. Uh, and then it's not actually going to matter really what time of day it is because we are going back to the nether. Uh, but first, Milk Toast, let me come in here and see. I need this bed. And am I wearing a chest plate? No. Let's put on this chest plate. Let's bring this enchantment table, and let's also bring this pickaxe. What does that have on it? Unbreaking two. Let's bring some of these diamonds. Oh, I only have four levels. Never mind. I don't think we're going to be able to enchant that. Protection one. Protection one. I need an efficiency book. Oh, let's bring this sword, too, because I kept the dog defender uh, in here because I don't want to lose it. Um, is there anything else we need? Well, we should always have a lead on us or a, a dog leash. We can leave the lead. All right. I think that that's good. Oh, the beacon. We still have to build the beacon. Milk toast. Okay. Uh, chest plate on. Milk toast. You can sit. Can you please? Milk toast, please. Milk toast, please. Okay. Now sit. There you go. Oh, hello, Polly. Good day. How are you? Um, all right, let's go ahead and, hi Molly, uh, let's head downstairs, and we're gonna have to sleep, but maybe we can get where we need to go, uh, before that, but first, let's go into the art gallery and see some of the art we've received since the last episode. In episode 210, Another Idea, uh, Wink and I decided to build another portal in the eucalyptus forest so that we could get more dogs. And I also got this adorable drawing of Milk Toast, this one of all my dogs and Milk Toast, and then this one uh, of Paige and Molly. Molly saying, I'm going to smile for my fans. All right, now I'm just going to head down to my supply room. And let's see. Oh, wait, we don't have an anvil. Uh, I'm going to bring some of this eucalyptus. Well, we'll just bring all of it, I suppose. And is that all I need? Oh, no, wait, the book. Hello, Pipsqueak. Um, okay, let's see here. Silk Touch, Random Feather. Uh, we'll take these four books. Dog's Log, Aqua Affinity, Thorns 3. Hey, actually, that's a pretty good... We should really put that on our diamond chest plate, actually. That's, um, that's not... Whoa, what was that? That's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and see what wolf is going to be joining us on our adventure today. Hello, guys. Uh, how are you all doing? Let's see. It's going to be... Oops, I wasn't on it. Everest. Ah, oh, Everest the Brave. You get to come on the adventure today. Let's put your piece of paper back there. Best sorting system ever. And let's head up. I want to grab the anvil from... Oop, it's getting nighttime, Everest. Let me bring out this sword. I want to grab the anvil from in here. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Uh, can I open a gate, please? Can I close a gate, please? Thank you. Hi, puppies. How are you doing? Hello, dog guard. Hello, uh, Susie Jr. Oh, no, wait. There's not an anvil. Oh, there's an anvil up at uh, where I wanted to go anyway. The mini mesa. But... Did you just hit Susie Jr.? You didn't hit Susie Jr., did you? Um, I feel like I need to sleep, though. Now. I'm just gonna... You know what? Alright. Here, Tito. Can I just kind of sleep by you? Good night, Tito. Good night, Everest. Good night, dog guard. Where's Francesca? Oh, Francesca, you're sitting. I'm so sorry. You have work to do, Francesca. There you go. Here, patrol in the Quonset, Francesca. Go. Go, do your do your duty. Oh, Francesca could leave that way now, couldn't she? Okay, maybe do your duty in the bark. Um, okay, let's go ahead and bring this back with us. And let's head up to the mini mesa. Just because I feel like since it's new, 
I kind of want to keep checking on it and just making sure everything's going fine. I'm sure it is, but I'm sure that uh, Mesa, our mule, has grown up by now. So it would be nice to see her. Hey. Hi. You. I need to light this up a little bit better, huh? I'm glad that wasn't a creeper. <gasps> Do you know what, Everest? We need to bring a cat with us today because we're building and we should have a cat. Uh, this looks badly damaged, honestly. Maybe it's just somewhat damaged. Um, Savannah? Ma oh, Mesa, hi! Mesa, you grew up! Oh, you're such a beautiful mule. You're a, a, just a gorgeous mule that reminds me so much of molasses. Um, oh yeah, molasses lived a long life. Why do you ask? Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, Joey and Savannah, why are you sitting down here? That's odd. <gasps> Savannah, you don't have food. You can't heal your... Oh, no, you do. I gave you food. What am I talking about? I'm a good dog owner. Um, all right. Well, everything actually seems to be in order, huh? Wow. Four, four noble steeds. Uh, all right. That's, that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, carry on, guys. We're going to go to the nether by way of Tomcat Tower so that we can grab ourselves a cat... To bring with us to station outside of the nether i'm not exactly sure exactly what we're going to work on today if we can get the enchantment uh, on the pickaxe the way that i want to get the enchantment then we can work on the packed ice today but i'm still kind of debating what exactly i'm doing in the nether and i will tell you uh in case you missed the last episode i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner but instead of going on a really long expedition to get new dog breeds we can basically build a nether tunnel that is going to take us to different parts of the dogcraft world much faster because you can travel faster in the nether, not just because we're going to build an ice tunnel, but also because uh, for every few blocks, I don't know the exact number, but for every few blocks you travel in the nether, you actually travel farther in the overworld. So it's perfect. We can get to all kinds of biomes. Um, but... I also want to build a dog shelter. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I get to show you guys the bridge. Uh, okay, who's coming today? We've got Millie. We've got Stampy. Dog. I'm going to bring Oliver. I think I want to bring Oliver with us. Uh, Everest. Oliver and Everest. It sounds lovely. So we're going to need a heck of a lot of sandstone to go over to where this nether um, portal is. So, oh, you know what? Let's just try to get, well, we can do it over there. We can try to get the enchantment. So basically, I might shrink this pond to like over there and maybe build the shelter here. Um, or I might build the shelter back here in the woods uh, still, but I'm, it's just kind of far. So if you come all the way back here, I'll show you what I built. I used the DecoCraft mod. Uh, I forgot. I'd been saving these up for when we built a treehouse, but then I was like, you know what? I might as well use them in a treehouse eventually and here. And you are about to see what I'm talking about. I don't know what way the path will go, what way is the fastest. Are you guys coming? All right, you are about to see what I'm talking Oh, I missed it. I overshot it. Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. All right, let me come back here. And now, oh, it's, well, it's right there. Sorry. Kind of messed that up. Uh, it's a bridge! Look at that! Doesn't that look nice? I think it looks so nice. A uh, couple of flaws with this bridge, however. Uh, one... Is that a skeleton right there? Oh, no. I guess I'm seeing things. Um, why was there sugar cane growing right... What in the heck is... What is that? Um, oh, look! Everest loves the bridge! Yes, I like it too. I think it adds something nice to Dogcraft. I think we should have added these to the world... A long time ago, although we haven't really had, like, gaps that we needed to bridge across over in our, our normal uh, town area. Uh, but anyway, I really enjoy this. I can make it wider. Like, I used the single bridge, and you can use something that would make the bridge wider, which might be better for dogs. But I also feel like this bridge has a bit of a design flaw, which I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. What the heck? 
Okay? Like, honestly. Hi, Oliver. You like to swim? I had no idea. So, I don't understand. It's a bridge, but it also doesn't keep you in, which doesn't seem really very bridge-like to me. So, you kind of have to be careful. I think the first time I bring a dog across this... Oh. Hello, Molly. In real life, Molly just woke up. Yep, just like what happened to Everest. Everest just fell off into the water. Uh, Oliver's still down there. Uh, that's just gonna happen. Hey, Oliver, can you teleport? Because this is exactly what I wanted you for. Thank you. Uh, there's like shade all around here and there could be creepers uh, literally like anywhere. So I need you to be like right here by the portal and come here. Yep, come here, boy. Come here, Oliver. Come here. Just a little closer, Oliver, please. Thank you, and sit. All right, perfect. Um, okay, let's see here. Enchantment table and anvil. Okay. Um, so I took the cobblestone away from the portal. I'm think I'm I'm really struggling here whether I build the entire dog shelter here because I don't really want to cut down any of these eucalyptus trees, uh, or I just build like a little door into the portal and then maybe we can build the uh, the shelter like up here on this hill or something. Um, there's the campground over there. Um. And then, of course, that's Dogcraft is, like, literally right through there. Well, like, Dogcraft meaning, like, our world. I should turn my render up, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm still debating where to put the actual shelter shelter, but the nether part of the shelter is here. And let me see. I think, oh, what do I want to do? Because I only have four levels, but I can get a lot more because we're mining the nether tunnel out, and I haven't really been mining the quartz. I haven't really found that much in the tunnel, but I can get more quartz. So I can get more levels. Because I think we need to put this, you know what, I don't trust myself with this book. I think we need to put the book on, um, the pick, obviously, but we also need unbreaking on the pick. So I don't know whether to try to enchant the books and get unbreaking. See, you can't tell. Sharpness one. Come on. Power one. I don't know if I'm breaking is a level one enchant. Efficiency one. Okay, well, we can definitely put efficiency on. I'm breaking. Ugh, efficiency. Mm, I really want I'm breaking because it's going to be a silk touch diamond pickaxe. So we'll just have to wait. Uh, let's go ahead and put our bed down here as well. Uh, we can put it right there. And we can put some of this stuff in here. Okay. There we go. What else do I need? Everest, I feel like you're not going to come to the nether. You're going to stay here. And I will take this glass. I'm going to go into the nether, guys. You stay here and be good animals. It's probably going to turn to night, but you guys will be safe. Everest, you're my bravest wolf, so you'll be fine. And you, besides, you've got Oliver. Uh, to ward off any creepers. So, you'll be fine, Everest. Uh, what tools do I need? Let's have... Actually, I like to keep a stack of netherrack on me, just in case, because I don't need that. Okay, let's go, and I will show you the progress I've made in the nether. It's actually not too much yet, okay? So, you know, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> what? Oh, gosh, that scared me. Uh, hello. Um, so, yeah, I did get blown up by a ghast once, actually. Um, hello, baby zombie pigmen. Uh, the ghast spawned, like, literally in this lava pool. Like, he rose up. Hello? Hello? He rose up out of the lava pool and attacked me, and it was quite scary. Uh, but anyway, so there's a big flat area up here that would be perfect to build in. Um, but I'm not quite sure if I like that idea. Um, and it's gotta come down to this portal. So, I was going to branch off in this direction, but I actually decided to branch off in this direction. Oh, hello. You're not a dog, okay? You're just not. Uh, we want dogs in here. Um, so, I think this is going to be called the Terrier Tunnel, I've decided. And it's going to have ice along the bottom. So it's actually only going to be two blocks tall because then what that's going to allow you to do is like bump your head as you're running and it'll make you run super fast. Uh, and I think that the dog lead should work um, so that the dogs will keep up and it's going to be really effective. Like this is going to be great because I'm coming out in like one really long direction, which I have no idea what biome once we build the nether portal over here. I have no idea what biome that will be. But then what we can do is like say that way goes to like a mesa biome which would be incredible uh but it probably won't because it's really rare but we could like label it that way to you know the mesa where like the you know whatever australian shepherds are i don't know but then we could make another tunnel like this way over here and that could be like to a whole nother biome um it's it's actually gonna be really fantastic uh, a really good way of rescuing more dogs so i did glass where the tunnel kind of like was open. I think some people were saying iron bars uh, are ghast proof, but I feel like this will be fine because we'll just be running by so quickly that I don't think it'll matter, like unless there's a gas literally right there. Um, and then I ran into some soul sand and then, oh, well I ran into this lava. So this is a problem. 
Uh, I guess I could put nether rack for now, but like eventually it'll have to be packed ice on this level. So the nether rack would go on this level. So, okay. Oh. Heard a gas. I hear a gas like everywhere in this nether, and I don't know why. Because I don't think. I don't know if they're traveling underneath the lava, and that's why I keep hearing it. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's just build this across. Then we can also build the glass tunnel for it as well. So the packed ice will go on top of here. Okay. Perfect. And then we can keep going. So let's see here. It needs to be on this side as well. All right, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna speed this up and work on this tunnel and get that quartz and uh, yeah This is why you don't place glass in F5. Darn it! You know, I guess I could wait to still touch those, but I honestly... Glass isn't an issue, so I'll just break it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm really tempted to go over there and get all of that glowstone and quartz. Honestly. I wonder what biome this is going to bring us out in uh, when we eventually build a portal on the other side. I don't know how much farther I want to go out either. I think it kind of will depend on... Well, it doesn't really depend on pack ice because I can... Oh, darn it. I can get the pack... I can get more eventually. I wish you could craft it. But, um... It really depends, I think, on being able to repair that pickaxe. Uh, this is a really good pickaxe, actually, because it's unbreaking two and efficiency two. I should really try to repair it as well. Uh, I guess. Honestly. Maybe I should go get a bunch of levels and try to repair it too. And not give up on it. I kind of just was like giving up on it. Thinking I would just use it until it breaks. Um, I mean those enchants aren't like impossible to get again. So it really just depends on how much it costs to, to repair. Uh, I think. I want to really, I really wanted to get the enchant so I could show you. I guess I could go get my lucky pickaxe uh, and show you guys how the ice tunnel works. But let's break that. Oh, now it's really dark here. So we need to do some glowstone. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, but I'm out of glass. So we'll get more glass for there. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. I mean, honestly, like the color. I don't love netherrack. Uh, especially like red netherrack next to blue packed ice next to purple nether portal. But do you know how long it would take to like completely redo the tunnel like the netherrack? Not to mention that there's probably lava behind quite a few of these uh, pieces of netherrack that I don't want to run into. So I think we're going to make it work. I could put carpet over the ice, but I honestly kind of like the texture of packed ice. Uh, okay, so I think we're ready to come back in. I just have to basically decide exactly what kind of a building I want to do in here. Like whether I want this to be like the downstairs or if I want the actual building to be on this level. Because I kind of like the idea of having a building up here that looks out over everything. But then again, it's a lot more dangerous, I would imagine. Um... I wonder if we'll find a fortress, actually, uh, if we keep tunneling. That would honestly be so cool because we could get a lot of good materials. All right, so I'm going to go back through the portal now. Some people were leaving me a comment that were saying if I didn't want to spawn in the cave, I should just break that uh, portal that's in the cave, and then I would spawn back at the eucalyptus forest. So if you noticed, there were two pieces of obsidian in my chest. I did break the portal and uh, I will show you
What happened? Oh, look. I'm in the cave again. And oh, look. Here's the portal with the two pieces of missing obsidian that was the original portal. So it just made another portal down here. So when I'm bringing the dogs back, we're definitely going to come into this cave. So I can either make a staircase uh, going up. Have I never explored this part of dogcraft? Wow. Really? Huh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ooh, okay, I don't want to get lost. Uh, but, I mean, hey, I'll, I'll take the free iron for sure. So, I can make a staircase going up that's wide enough to bring dogs up. I wanted to ask if a water elevator would work in this kind of a situation. Like, I've seen ones done with signs before where you don't actually, like, you get air every so often from the signs as you're going up. I don't know if that would work with the dogs, like, if the dogs would swim up. But if you guys think it's worth a shot, I could try to make a water elevator. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But for now, I thought that was an Enderman. Um, we can just we can just come up. Is it this one? Oh, it, no, I think it's this one over here. And it probably is still nighttime, actually. Uh, which is why I don't see any light. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's night. Uh, let's get the sword that I have. Oh! What? No. No. Up. 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 Oh, no. Maybe it's day. I can't tell. Okay. Yeah, it's day. Nice. All right. Perfect. Um, okay, let's go back, I guess, and grab Everest. And... Uh, well, we don't have any more books to work on the enchant. So we're kind of stuck. We could just enchant the pickaxe and hopefully get efficiency one uh, on a pickaxe. Because it's either going to be that or not efficiency one. I have efficiency one. I'm breaking. Let's just go for that. We've got three levels. So maybe that would be... Ah! Stay on. Stay on. Uh, that's such a flaw in the bridge design. Uh, all right. Hello, guys. I am back. Did you miss me? Um, okay, so let's grab uh, this pickaxe and let's just try to enchant it, okay? Unbreaking, unbreaking! Efficiency. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. All right, so silk touch. So then if we take efficiency with silk touch, eight levels, eight levels. Okay, eight levels. How are we gonna get eight levels? Let's go, Ugh, if I go back into the nether, then I'm gonna have to come all the way back up there again. I should have mined more coal or quartz, guys. Or if it was night, I could kill monsters. There's literally nothing I can do now, um, except I could start working on, I wanna see, can I make some eucalyptus doors? Oh, those are pretty. Um, I think we should make just like a cute little portal. What if I even put the doors? Okay, hold on. Where's my shovel? Uh, let's put eucalyptus planks. Um, here. Oh, I have them. Me, I have them. Uh, okay. Right like there. And then let's put the doors on the portal like that that looks kind of weird but we could probably make something because that kind of looks cool like you can see the portal straight through the doors and then enter into it so we could definitely like put either stairs for like a roof or build some kind of little hut around this um could we even spawn a eucalyptus tree here if we cut down this tree, I know I think that that other tree would block the way. Um, Alright, we can make something. We can, we can make some kind of structure so that this doesn't look so weird. But so that you open it and you come into uh, to there, to the terrier tunnel. Um, okay, let's see. I really wanted to show the, the ice. Okay, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna skip ahead in the video, I think, until I have found eight levels. I'm just gonna go back into the nether and mine probably that quartz that I found. So you stay there, you stay there. You guys, well, Everest, you can come this time. And, uh, okay, come here, Everest. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There you go. Sit. And into the nether you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, Everest, come with me. Do not go the way of the lava. Please come this way. Okay, there you go. All right, so it's not as fast as it's going to be once we have the packed ice, boy. But uh, I'm going to grab eight levels really quick. Why don't you just sit down there? Uh, sit. And I'm going to grab the eight levels. And then after that, I'll go get the ice. So I'm going to speed up all of that. <laughs> Okay, so I am back with the packed ice, although, or is this packed ice or is this just regular ice? It's just ice. What's the difference? Can someone please tell me the difference between ice and packed ice? Because I honestly don't think I know. It's gonna melt! It's melting! No! 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 Wait, I didn't get it! I'm using the wrong pickaxe. <laughs> okay, listen. See how fast you can go on it? You can go really fast, okay? That was the whole point of what I wanted to demonstrate, okay? Oh, I need to look this up. Okay, so really bad news. I don't think I can get packed ice. I don't think you can craft it. I think you have to find it in like an ice spikes biome and mine that with a silk touch, which I'm never gonna find. So if I just use ice, it's gonna melt. So I'm right back to using a minecart. Why did no one explain this to me in the comments of the last episode? I'm sorry guys, I have failed you. I have failed you miserably. And Everest, I have failed you. How are we ever supposed to get more dogs in Dogcraft if I keep doing things like this? How are we ever gonna make an, a fast tunnel? I can't make the nether. What was I thinking? Putting ice in the nether. Ugh, who puts ice in the nether? It worked though. I, I don't think I can keep it cool enough, Everest, so it doesn't melt. But wait a minute, it didn't, oh, it would just disappear if it melted because you can't have water in the nether. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Ugh. All right, well, anyway, I'm gonna go and think about what I've done, but uh, we will continue work on the terrier tunnel in the next episode and also the rescue shelter and the beacon. But until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. <laughs>